All right, folks, welcome. This is actually going to be the first video I post. Um, I've seen a lot of people, and I do apologize about my voice. I'm uh, dealing with a little bit of uh, seasonal allergies, but I'm going to try and get through this. I'm seeing a lot of people who are basically doing a, a, a little more than I've done. They're basically abandoning traditional news sources, uh, getting all the stories on their own, reacting as they want to. Uh, making up their own minds, basically, something I've advocated for years, uh, especially while I was teaching. Now, I'm starting off showing you this for BNN. Uh, they are satirical, but I'm actually going to do this because I want to talk about trending with what we're seeing today in a lot of the media. Now, of course, you can see, if you haven't figured it out yet, this is a satirical news website. Basically, law enforcement-themed onion, for lack of a better description. So we're going to go on and go back to what I saw that piqued my interest. And I had, I twigged this as satire just from the just from the, the headline there. But there's a trend moving. There are people who are not far from actually probably suggesting something like this. We have judges that have said that minorities have a right to run from the cops. We have people demanding that police officers not fire on people. We actually had a mother, I believe it was a mother, it may have been someone else, when she was talking about her son who was shot while robbing a, a store, how he's, how he's going to get his money. I'm sorry, get a job. Now, of course, this one is satire, but what we're seeing here is supposedly in the situation, the San Bernardino, a recent bill, presented the Senate, law enforcement officers would be required to request permission from their ship's supervisor before using their service weapon. As part of the bill, their officers finding themselves in a life-threatening situation would need to first call their supervisor and ask before introducing their service weapon into the scenario. Further, the supervisor would then have them, in turn, have to call a local civilian committee to discuss. Uh, Goes on later. Goes on to say they would be required to say fire between shots because they would be limited to one magazine, basically. Uh, and you have here supposedly a or a satirical made up quote: "A person shouldn't be shot at just because they're trying to kill a police officer." Yeah. Now this one to me, yeah, like I said, I twigged this as satire, as as they call it. BS, pretty much from the time I saw it, because as much as I believe the current Democrats running or supposedly going to run for president have completely and totally lost their minds, I mean, we have people suggesting that we can't spend $20 billion on a wall, can't even give the president $5 billion for a wall, but we can afford $93 trillion for Medicare for all, and another thirty trillion for the supposed Green New Deal. So we can't afford twenty-five billion with a B for a wall that would stop drug trafficking, human trafficking, stop all sorts of other crimes, stop illegal immigration to a large degree. We can't afford that, but we can afford a hundred and twenty trillion dollars to give away health care to illegals and to everyone who's in the country. We already give away so much, and I'm honestly waiting for them to finally lose the last shreds of just consciousness and go to this level. I will not be surprised to see a picture similar to this of Kamala Harris, of AOC, of any of them actually saying that police officers should not be armed. Police officers should not be allowed to carry weapons. They should just become crime monitors. I'm not surprised that we have people who believe this. We saw with Ferguson where we had people who were rioting. One of them said, well, these people out here got money and I want some. We had people who were cutting fire hoses so that firefighters couldn't put fires out. We had people who defended even after forensic evidence showed that 
Michael Brown was not shot while kneeling and facing away from the officer. It showed he was wrestling the officer for the officer's service weapon. He was threatening the officer's life. We have people who actually say, well, the officer still shouldn't have shot him. We have people today in the world that firmly believe that, well, I have a right to kill who I want because you have white privilege. And it goes to the ludicrous when you have a CNN journalist who can tell someone like David Webb he has white privilege, and then when David says, well, but he's black, that person throws their entire crew under the bus. Well, I wasn't told. We're leading for, it. we are just steamrolling toward idiocracy. We are steamrolling toward a world where people are going to be told, okay, you have to work here, and you have to work here, and you're going to live here, and we're all we're just going to pay you a fair what we say is a fair amount, and we're going to end up in a world where you're tagged like cattle. You don't ever get to keep any of your money. You're just told, well, you don't deserve that car this month, or you don't deserve TV service, or you don't deserve as much money for groceries anymore. So you're going to have to eat uh, bread and drink water for a month because you posted something on social media. We already see China denying their citizens the right to travel because of social credit. If you post something they decide is bad, they decide you can't leave the country. If you don't walk enough, they decide we're going to take away your car. It's just insanity is what it is. I honestly hope we can turn around. We're starting to see more and more people wake up, and as we're see as it's been called, they're being red pilled. But we have less than eighteen months until the presidential election. And I can guarantee you, Kamala Harris, AOC, Sanders, Pelosi, Waters, Feinstein, Schumer, they're all gonna be out on the campaign trail, whether they're running or not. And they're going to be stumping on, well, Trump's just racist. Don't elect the racist again. And you can't, you're, you're racist if you don't. We're go, actually approaching a world where we're going to hear it's sexist to vote for men. It's racist to vote for a white person. We already had people in 2008 say that it was not wrong to vote again, um, 8 or 12, I forget, but... Uh, Sarah Palin did not represent women, so it wasn't sexist for them to go after her with everything they had. But when AOC says something so patently stupid and asinine, we're supposed to ignore it or we're sexist because we're only attacking her because she's a woman, which is, of course, untrue. We're steamrolling toward a world where this could be introduced. We're steamrolling toward a world where someone is going to actually introduce a bill to remove firearms from the police. We're steamrolling toward a world where you're going to be segregated by race, by gender. You're going to be told where to work, where to live, what you're allowed to eat. We're steamrolling toward the worst nightmare of Ray Bradbury, Aldous Huxley, George Orwell, and so many others who wrote such great cautionary tales. I actually do have a copy of uh, Brave New World, an extra. Found mine after I bought a replacement. Uh, It's almost brand new. It's very uh, very good condition. I'm actually working on an idea for a giveaway. But uh, right now, I wanted to get some content up just so I can, one, test the YouTube Creator Studio. I can see what I need to learn about my software here, and I can basically continue to learn what I need to be able to do this. Uh, Let me know if you see any technical glitches. Uh, Of course, don't worry about my voice unless the volume is off. If the volume is off, definitely let me know there. Uh, I tried several different mic options. The onboard was, of course, off the table from the beginning. Uh, I actually tried a blue snowball and found out that where I'm sitting right now until I finish my house it's just too reverberative so I can't use a blue snowball or a yeti or anything like that a a desk mic only until I finish my living room and the rest of my house 
then I'll be in a wider, more open space, and I'll be able to get those mics. For now, the the cans with uh, with this mic where it has the the felt over it seemed to be the best option as far as what I could hear on quality. Uh, but of course, all of you know, when you hear yourself on a recording, it never sounds right. So definitely, if you see anything technical, if you see anything uh, about the audio, or if you know of a better option for a mic, if you know of one, where to get one for a good price, uh, like you see the YouTubers who are basically on GoPros and such, wearing them like that, basically the the TV style. Uh, if you know of one I could get for a, a decent price, I'll, I'd try it. But for now, I'm going to end this. It, my voice is starting. I can already feel the scratch coming back. So I'm going to go back to watching and reading and working on a few things. And I will hopefully be able to start doing this more regularly. Uh, for now, of course, I would have loved to have subscribers, love to have comments and likes on this. Uh, I mean, the ultimate goal. Basically, I am not able to teach full time because I'm not a coach. Uh, that's very sad for me because I believe social studies is right now the most important subject matter we have that we should be teaching, and we're teaching it part-time. History, sociology, psychology, economics, geography, government, all of those things that I love to study and that I've studied extensively to earn my degree, and so far I can't find a job, so I basically figured I would commentate a bit. I would now, of course, I'm not going to be bringing up satire pieces unless it's just basically half if it's a satirical report of a real thing. Uh, I am going to be sticking to real news. Like I said, this is predominantly a test of my setup to see how well it works, to see how to upload, to test the creator studio. But the ultimate goal would be to use my channel here to basically teach social studies. If there are topics you'd like to know about, if there's historical events that you'd like to know from someone who has studied history extensively. If there's things that you'd like me to see me cover, definitely leave them in the comments. I'll I'll research what I can. I will bring it back, and who knows? Uh, maybe we can turn this into something. Uh, but for now, keep the comments civil. Uh, I have always said I love a good debate. Uh, if I mean, God willing, sun don't the sun don't shine or the creek don't rise. If I ever get to a point where I could meet some of the other the other side, I am just admittedly a conservative. Uh, I would consider myself more libertarian, but I do lean more than just mildly center-right. Uh, and to be able to sit with someone with differing viewpoints and discuss a subject and have the back and forth is something I, I greatly enjoy. Uh if this allows for growth beyond that, and who knows, maybe even add an oral history or video history uh, segment every now and then, where I can sit down with someone who's basically lived through something that most people haven't. Who knows, I may be able to add that later as well. But for now, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to take another cough drop, uh, hopefully get a little bit of sleep, and then I'll start digging and figuring out where to go next.